Welcome, adventurers and fans of Timeless Heroes, to our special journey through the ages. Today, we're delving into the world of the masked vigilante who has captured hearts for over a century, Zorro. Have you ever wondered what happened to the swashbuckling stars who brought this legendary character and his world to life? Where are they now, and how have they changed since they donned the mask and cape? Join us as we uncover the, then and now, of the iconic cast of the, Zorro, series. So, sharpen your swords and adjust your masks. We're about to embark on an exciting adventure with, Zorro. Then and now. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating journeys through the world of classic television. Let's dive in. Number 1 Guy Williams as Don Diego de la Vega, Zorro. Born as Armando Joseph Catalano on January 14, 1924, Guy Williams was an actor whose name became synonymous with the swashbuckling hero, Zorro. Best known for his portrayal of the masked vigilante in the 1957-1959 Disney television series, Williams was a man of charm and charisma, traits that made him perfect for the role of the suave Don Diego de la Vega. Before donning the iconic mask and cape, Williams embarked on a modeling career, showcasing his dashing looks. His journey into acting led him to various roles, but none struck a chord with audiences quite like Zorro. The series not only showcased his sword-fighting prowess but also his ability to switch effortlessly between the debonair Diego and the daring Zorro. Post Zorro, Williams continued to capture hearts as Professor John Robinson in Lost in Space, another role that cemented his legacy in the entertainment industry. Despite other roles, it was Zorro that remained his most celebrated character. Guy Williams passed away on April 30, 1989, at the age of 65, leaving behind a legacy celebrated by generations of fans. His portrayal of Zorro remains a benchmark for the character inspiring future adaptations and continuing to enchant new audiences. Number 2 Jean Sheldon as Bernardo Jean Sheldon, born Eugene Hume on February 1, 1908, was an actor whose talents extended beyond the conventional. Best known for his role as Bernardo, the mute servant of Zorro, in the Disney television series, Sheldon's performance was a masterclass in non-verbal acting. He communicated emotion and humor without uttering a single word a testament to his skill and versatility. Before stepping into the role of Bernardo, Sheldon had a varied career in entertainment. He was a skilled banjo player and a vaudeville performer, talents that added depth to his acting roles. His portrayal of Bernardo was unique, as it required him to express himself solely through gestures and expressions, a challenge he embraced and excelled at. Gene Sheldon's role as Bernardo was his most recognized and beloved performance. His ability to convey complex emotions and humor without speech left a lasting impression on audiences. Gene Sheldon passed away on May 1, 1982, at the age of 74. His role as Bernardo remains a highlight in the history of television supporting characters, showcasing his extraordinary talent in silent expression. Number 3 Henry Calvin as Sergeant Demetrio Lopez Garcia. Henry Calvin, born Wimberly Calvin Goodman on May 25, 1918 was an actor whose warmth and humor brought life to every character he portrayed. He is most fondly remembered for his role as Sergeant Demetrio Lopez Garcia in the Zorro series, where he played the lovable, bumbling sergeant with a heart of gold. Before his stint in Zorro, Calvin was known for his work in musical theater, showcasing his singing talents alongside his acting skills. His transition to television brought him into the homes of millions, where his portrayal of Sergeant Garcia earned him a special place in the hearts of viewers. His ability to blend comedy with a touch of pathos made his character one of the most endearing in the series. Sergeant Garcia, though often the comic relief, was a role that showcased Calvin's range as an actor, balancing humor with moments of sincerity. This role remains his most celebrated work, a testament to his talent in creating memorable and beloved characters. Henry Calvin's life was cut short by cancer, leading to his passing on October 6, 1975, at the age of 57. His portrayal of Sergeant Garcia continues to resonate with fans of the series, a lasting legacy of his talent and endearing personality. Number 4 Don Diamond as Corporal Reyes In the tapestry of classic television, Don Diamond's story weaves a colorful pattern. Born on June 4, 1921, Diamond's journey through the world of acting was marked by his versatility and charm. 
He is most fondly remembered for his role as the amiable and often comical Corporal Reyes in the iconic series, Zorro. Diamond's acting career blossomed with his ability to portray a diverse range of characters, particularly excelling in roles that required a comedic touch. Before his memorable role in, Zorro, he made his mark in radio and early television shows, showcasing his talent in both dramatic and light-hearted roles. As Corporal Reyes, Diamond brought a unique blend of humor and humanity to the character, making him a favorite among the show's fans. His portrayal stood out for its warmth and relatability, endearing him to audiences of all ages. Beyond, Zorro, Diamond continued to grace the screen in various television shows, proving his versatility as an actor. However, it was as Corporal Reyes that he found his most significant success, a role that resonated with viewers and remains his most celebrated performance. Don Diamond passed away on June 19, 2011, at the age of 90. His journey through life and acting was marked by a joyful spirit and an enduring talent that left a lasting impression on the entertainment world. Number 5 George J. Lewis as Don Alejandro de la Vega, Diego's father. George J. Lewis, born on December 10, 1903, was an actor whose presence on screen was both commanding and versatile. He is best known for his role as Don Alejandro de la Vega, the father of the titular character in the Zorro series. This role showcased his ability to embody a character with dignity and depth. Lewis' acting career spanned several decades, with roles in numerous films and television shows. He often played characters that were authoritative and charismatic, making him a natural fit for the role of Don Alejandro. His portrayal was not just that of a father figure, but also a character of moral fortitude and wisdom, qualities that Lewis conveyed with ease. The role of Don Alejandro de la Vega remains his most notable and successful, leaving a lasting impact on the legacy of the Zorro series. Lewis' performance added a layer of gravitas to the show, making it a richer and more nuanced experience for the audience. George J. Lewis passed away on December 8, 1995, at the age of 91. His death marked the end of a career that was rich in diversity and filled with memorable performances, with his role in Zorro standing out as a highlight. And there you have it, fellow adventurers. Our thrilling journey through the past and present of the Zorro series comes to a close. Share your thoughts and memories in the comments below. Let's keep the spirit of Zorro alive through our shared stories and discussions. And if you enjoyed this nostalgic trip, don't forget to hit that like button and share this video with fellow Zorro fans and classic TV enthusiasts. Before you ride off into the sunset, make sure to subscribe to our channel and ring that notification bell. This way, you won't miss out on our next adventure into the fascinating world of classic television and beyond. Thank you for joining us on, Zorro, then and now. Until next time, keep your swords sharp and your masks ready. Farewell, and may your adventures be grand.